How do you get an Instagram shop in 2021 and get features like tagging products in your posts, in your stories, in reels, and even in your captions? In today's video, you're going to find out exactly what you need to do, the steps you need to take to enable this feature for your business and make more sales with Instagram. Let's get started. If you're new here, hi, I'm Lydia. And on this channel, we'll learn about social media marketing and making more money online. So if you're interested, make sure to subscribe. So the Instagram shopping feature ensures that people will get to shop your products directly as they come on your Instagram profile because one they will see them tagged in your post second in your stories reels and even captions of the posts and another thing that you're going to get on your profile is this option where people are going to be able to click view shop and view all of your collections with your products in them and go to the website to purchase them or check out on Instagram or Facebook so how do you actually get this feature for your business step number one it is to have a website where you're selling your products and very verify that domain in Facebook Business Manager. So first things first, have a domain that you own that you've purchased for your website. Once you have that domain and your website is ready, your website needs to be alive. You have to have products that people can purchase from your website. And now the next thing you need to do is to go on and verify that domain by going to business.facebook.com, going to more tools and business settings, brand safety and domains. There, add your domain name without the extension before it. Just add incomingsuccess.com and and click add domain. After that, you will need to take the metadata code and insert it in the head section of your website. I teach a lot more about how to do this for multiple website platforms in this video right here and there is another one, updated one, coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. Once you've added that code onto your website, you now need to go verify the domain. All you need to do is click on verify domain, the green button at the bottom, and then your domain will be verified. If it doesn't happen immediately, it is because you need to wait a little more time. The next step in order to get Instagram shopping for your Instagram account, it is to sell physical products. Sometimes it works with digital products products too, but in their policies, they say they do not accept digital products yet. They are working on that. The chances that you'll get approved are going to be much bigger if you sell physical products. In order for you to show Facebook what those products are, you need to create a products catalog from business manager, go to business settings, data sources, and catalogs, and create a new catalog. From there, you will need to choose which type of catalog it is and choose e-commerce. And then you will need to add your products. You can add them manually with a data feed or with a Facebook pixel. I suggest adding at least 10 of them manually at first for this feature to be enabled in your account first and then later you can use a pixel or you can use a data feed or anything else to upload all of your products in bulk. But for this feature to get approved at first with no errors, I suggest manual upload. For Shopify, the process is a little bit different. So if you want to watch specifically what you need to do for a Shopify website, please check out this video right here. The next thing after adding your products to a products catalog is to have an Instagram business profile. So yes, you need to have an Instagram account, but also turn it into a business and connect your Facebook business page to it, as well as optimize it as well as you can, meaning add a profile image, a description, make sure you post regularly and your account is active and has engagement. Because another requirement that you need to keep in mind to actually get this feature is to have a trustworthy brand on Instagram and Facebook, which means your Facebook page needs to be grown. They recommend at least 200 likes and for your Instagram account to be grown as well and have engagement from your side to other accounts as well from others to yours. Once you have all that, you need to go to your business settings and Instagram account and connect your Instagram account there as well as your Facebook page. The next step before actually going and applying for this feature is going to business settings and account quality and ensure that you have no errors there. The same thing you need to do, this is a new thing that they just added, you need to go to your creator account, find the link in the description below and ensure that when you go to monetization, you don't have any errors there or recommendations. They can tell you you need to grow your page 100 more likes, 200 more likes. You need to grow engagement before you'll be able to apply for the monetization tools. Everything is okay in the monetization tab and in the policy updates one, then your chances at reviewing the account and actually getting approved are much bigger. But if not, make sure that before you even apply, 
apply, you take a look there, add the creator account, and you do everything that they recommend. Next step is checking a little bit more. Go to your commerce account in Business Manager and go to Overview and make sure that you have no errors there as well. Then you'll need to go to Connected Assets. By going to Settings and Business Assets, you'll be able to see if your Facebook page and Instagram account are correctly added there and correctly connected. If they are, then the next step is to apply for this feature. But before that, you will need to also fill in the shipping and the returns policies in Business Manager as well. And just above, you will see shipping and returns. There you will need to tell Facebook and Instagram how long it will take you to ship your products, how long the production is, how much the shipping is, and if returns are available. You will need to fill those out and make sure that you have the same information on your website in your privacy policy and terms and conditions pages that are visible for Facebook to check when they're checking your account for this feature. Now, if everything is set up correctly, if your products are in the products catalog and everything is in the right place, it is time to go to shop and get started, meaning click that button to start applying for this feature. You will need to select the checkout method preferred if you want people to check out on your website or if you want them to check out on Instagram or Facebook. Then make sure to select your website, add your business email, select which Instagram account and which Facebook page you want to enable this feature for because the shop that will be visible on your Instagram account will also be visible on your business Facebook page. Then make sure to select the catalog that you've added your products in and that you want to be able to tag products from and then click submit. Once you've clicked that, you'll be able to see this notification in your Instagram account telling you that you are now in review for Instagram shopping. When you go to your Instagram account to settings, business and shopping, you'll be able to see the same thing, letting you know that they are now reviewing your account for this feature. Once your account is approved for this feature, you'll be able to see this notification telling you to start tagging products. Once you get approved, you'll be able to go to settings, business and shopping and make sure that your catalog is selected from there. This will mean that you'll be able to tag products in your post stories from that specific catalog. Now to customize your shop with collections, as I mentioned that you can do before, make sure to watch this video right here. It is going all in depth about how to design your Instagram shop, add products to your collection, add collections to your shop and so on. Once you create those collections, make sure to click save while you're editing so you don't lose any settings. And then when you click publish, make sure to publish the changes that comply with their commerce policy. Because if they don't accept some products, they will just publish the one that they accept. But if you click don't publish any updates, if some don't comply with the policies, they won't publish anything if they don't accept let's say one product. More details on these and how to reapply once your commerce account is not approved, it is rejected, what to do. I'm going to create multiple videos about this in the near future. I am posting three times a week, so be sure to subscribe to my channel to be notified when I upload. If you have any questions about this process and if something isn't working from the things that I've mentioned, please leave me a comment down below and I'll make sure to reply to each and every one of you. You can also follow me on Instagram at lida.incomingsuccess where I post a lot more content in the form of reels, IGTVs, posts and stories about growing your online business with social media, making more money online and financial freedom. For Instagram management services, web design services or Pinterest marketing services, you can contact me on my website incomingsuccess.com or at lydiaes at incomingsuccess.com. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.